we would like to solve a problem based on finding the support reactions for the given beam so you can see here we have got a beam abc so if you look at this particular beam we have got a hinge support at point b a point load of 8 newton is acting at point a and there is a moment acting at point c which is of value 120 newton meter so in order to solve this problem first we shall draw the free body diagram so in the free body diagram we shall draw the beam abc and we'll show all the forces acting on the beam without indicating the supports we have a reaction force acting at hinge point b and we have a reaction at point c which is a roller support so we have two forces acting and a point load of 8 newton acting at point a so at point b we have support reaction rb and at point c we have support reaction rc and moment of 120 newton meter acting at point c the distance between point a and b is 10 meters and distance between the point b and uh, c is 20 meters so this is the free body diagram we have drawn now we have to find the support reaction rb and rc so to find the support reaction rb and rc we have to use the condition of static equilibrium so we have already discussed about the condition of static equilibrium so please go through that video so the condition of static equilibrium talks about the summation of forces acting on the beam in the vertical direction or y direction equal to zero that is all vertical forces are balanced this is the first condition we are going to use there are no horizontal forces so we'll only use vertical forces first so if you see here eight newton force is acting downward so we follow a sign convention that downward forces are taken as negative and the upward force we take positive that is our normal sign convention you can take opposite of it also so the rv is acting in the upward direction so it will be positive at point c there is a reaction rc acting in the upward direction so that is going to be positive rc rc is upward right so for summation of forces we don't consider moments so if it is simplified you will get rb plus rc equals 8 newtons so this is our first equation we can use it later on now the second condition we have is the algebraic sum of or summation of moments about any point you can take so generally we should take the moment about point b or point c where the unknown forces are acting so rb rc are unknown so we should take moment about point b and point c it will make it simple to calculate the support reaction so by the condition of static equilibrium we will have summation of moments of forces about point i am considering point b so about point uh, b is zero so we should keep point b a hinge and uh, uh, and then allow a beam to rotate under the action of various forces when we apply 8 newton beam is going to rotate in the uh, counterclockwise direction so i am considering counterclockwise uh, let's say positive so clockwise would be negative so you will see that rc is going to rotate the beam about point b in the again counterclockwise direction so moment due to 8 newton is going to be positive the moment due to rc is going to be positive because both of them are counterclockwise but this moment which is 120 newton per meter is acting in the clockwise sense so it will be negative so 120 newton meter you can take it clockwise as positive and anticlockwise as negative or clockwise as negative anticlockwise as positive any one you can follow so i have considered here anticlockwise is positive and clockwise is negative just for simplicity so you'll get 20 into rc equals uh, 120 minus 80 that is 40 i have just simplified it so you'll get a value of rc is 40 divided by 20 and that is nothing but 2 newtons so by using summation of moments about point b we got the value of rc so now this value of rc which is 2 newton i can substitute into the equation 1 and i can find out the value of rb that is support reaction at point b so let's substitute this i'm going to call equation number two so let's substitute the value of rc in equation one so you'll be getting rb plus two newton equals to eight newton that is why rb equal to eight minus two and that is going to be six newton so by following the condition of static equilibrium we are able to find out the support reaction of beam abc so we got rb as six newton and rc as two newton